at the heart of Kariobangi South Estate in Nairobi's Eastlands area. Friends and family gather at the house of Grace Mutashi. It is a meeting full of whispers and sad faces. Each one trying to come to terms with the sudden death of 21-year-old Frederick Ocheng, who plunged to his death after calling for an elevator and instead fell into the shaft from the second floor of a Nairobi building on Monday morning. Nilipigiwa simu, niende nichukue mtoto, ni bebe nipeleke sipitalini. Bila kujua nini mefanyikia mto, mtoto. Nye tulifuka town, yo club tulikuwa tumambuwa tuende. Kifika hapo tukiingia kulikuwa na mapolisi wengi. Saa jua tukujua nini naendelea, tukaingia ndani, tukaende kwa juu kwa klabu. Kifika huko juu, tukambiwa mwenye walitoka, wakienda kuingia lift, ni kama zilikuwa azifanyi, but atujui venye mlango zilifunguka, haka ingia. A few meters from Fred's house, the young lady who was with Fred is nursing multiple fractures. Nilistukia kuona venye watu wako juu, wakimulika chini, ndiyo naona Fred chini, na ninaona anablade kutoka hapa, na mdomo pia. Sikuwa najua, nilikuwa najua Fred akondani. Mudhoni says there was no warning that the lift was not working properly. Kienda kuingia, unona, ya kuna giza lakini, unona yo lift ni kaiko na kitu, lakini ya kuna kitu, ukingia ni unenda kumi anguka chini. Lift ilikuwa ijandiku wa kitu wa tinote of boundaries nini nini lift ilikuwa tu just na ina show, ina move. At Interfina House along Tomboya Street where the incident happened, we sought to find out the condition of the lifts. From the second floor where the fall happened, the red light on the buttons indicate movement. After a few tries, we were informed by a resident that they were faulty. But there was no sign or notice indicating the same. From the basement, the situation is the same. An unsuspecting person would easily go Fred's way. Frederick and Mudoni fell three floors down from the second floor, landing at the bottom of the building in an area full of steel and dirt. Dry blood, the remaining evidence of the pain the two went through. Our efforts to trace the management of this building were futile as their offices, located on the ground floor, were locked. While others say that the fall from the second floor of Interfina House that led to Frederick Ocheng's death is an accident, his family believes that it is out of negligence by the management since the lifts had no sign indicating that they were out of bounds or out of order. Masi Yuma, NTV, Nairobi.